Hi folks, this diagram shows a three pin electrical plug as it looks when it's pushed into the socket. At the other side of course, there are three pins usually made of brass. Let's take a look inside. First of all, this is the electricity cable or flex. In this case, it has an outer layer made of white plastic because of course, plastic is a good electrical insulator. The flex is kept in place by the cable grip. Within most flexes, this one included, there are three wires. This one, the neutral wire, has an outer layer made of blue plastic and, like the other two, it has an inner core of copper wire. The copper wire is then connected to the neutral terminal. Next, we've got the earth wire, where the outer layer is striped, yellow and green. It's connected to the earth terminal. At the other side of the plug, the neutral terminal is connected to the neutral pin and the earth terminal is connected to the earth pin. But, that's not the case for the next wire. The live wire has a brown outer layer and it's no surprise that it's connected to the live terminal. But the live terminal isn't directly connected to the live pin, which is in this position. What connects the live terminal to the live pin is this thing, the fuse. It's a safety device and its main job is to protect the flex should the current become too high. The one shown here is a 3 amp fuse, which is designed to break if the current increases above 3 amps. In devices which have a larger power rating, a 13 amp fuse would be fitted. Inside the fuse is a wire. The wire inside a 13 amp fuse would be thicker than the one in a 3 amp fuse. Sometimes when there's a fault in the electrical device, it causes the current to increase. And if it increases above the fuse rating, and remember this is a 13 amp fuse, then this happens. Watch the fuse wire. The wire inside the fuse melts, which means that the live pin is no longer electrically connected to the live wire and there's no current in the flex, meaning that it won't overheat and start a fire. At this point, you need to get the device fixed before you replace the fuse with a new one. Let's go over what we've learned. Inside an electrical plug, we've got the flex held in place by the cable grip, the blue neutral wire connected to the neutral terminal, yellow and green earth wire connected to the earth terminal, the brown live wire connected to the live terminal, and it's connected to the live pin by the fuse which is a safety device. Now remember, this video certainly isn't meant to be a guide to wiring a plug. The mains voltage in the UK is about 230 volts, and this is enough to kill. This is the reason that many of the plugs on new electrical equipment are sealed to avoid people harming themselves. So, if you've enjoyed this video and want to be updated when new ones are released, then why not subscribe to the channel? And, if you have any suggestions about videos that you'd like to see, then tell me in the comment section. Goodbye.